Okay, it's Friday, and welcome aboard. Hope you had a good week, and we'll uh, try again next week. If not, at least most of us will. Jordan Maxwell is up first tonight as we stand back and watch through Jordan's eyes and his brilliant mind what's been happening. Uh, It is still amazing to hear Jordan come through with his analyses and his statements of reality, because that's what they are. He's been doing his kind of research for over 50 years now and sees clearly what's going on. And most of you feel, I'm sure, the same way. What's going on here is really the end. Uh, you talk about assassination, about liquidation, about the end of times. The, these are the end times of the times that we knew. They are the end times of the times that made this country once a great and noble experiment. But now it has been riddled from within and without with traitors, with betrayals, which penetrating moves of absolute subjugation and criminality to justify measurement. Jordan, are you there? I am, Jeff. Always happy to be with you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome back. It's uh, we're, we're not being negative. Uh, in fact, we'd be stupid if we didn't see things as they are. And I think most of the listeners agree. The, these are the end times, but they're not the kind of end times that the end times people talk about. It's the end of an era, it's the end of an age, it's the end of a country, it's the end of a culture, a society, an ethic, a morality, if you will, and a way of doing business that was was murdered, killed by greed, by Zionist machinations, by the most treacherous of plotting and absolute scheming, I guess is the best word, that I've ever seen. No doubt about it. You remember that uh, we talked about this once before about George Washington's dream that he talked to uh, some people about. They wrote it down, and uh, you can still find it out where. Uh, we told that George Washington had a dream, and an angel, uh, I think it was, that came to him and called him son of the Republic. And um, <clears throat> I just thought it was interesting that the angel told George Washington in this dream that there would come a time when the country would be completely uh, covered in red. And that, uh, and that it would be choking and destroying the republic. Uh, <clears throat> and so that's what we today, of course, have, is the country is completely covered in red. Mm-hmm. Because uh, communism mm-hmm. has always been associated with red, the color red. And red ink. With all the communists <laughs> in the Soviet Union, red. Yeah. So, uh, red ink too, Jordan. Financially well, red. red. We're yeah. hemorrhaging everywhere, of course. <clears throat> purposely. Purposely. You don't destroy a great empire by chance. Uh, you know, you start off being uh, uh, an enormous empire that was uh, an enormous uh, superstructure, which uh, the people all over the world were coming to America for freedom, and liberty, and, and, uh, and justice, and, and it was a great human experiment on the world stage. And then, very clever and, and resourceful and intelligent people got together and thought that they could uh, take over this experiment quietly, at the still of night, when no one would know and ultimately use this great power that was developing on the world scene to their own ends. And so that's what's happened. Uh, we have uh, pretty much lost our great hope, you know, the great uh, promise for the human race of freedom and liberty that will be going out all over the world. And today, instead of freedom and liberty going through the world in respect of the human being, what we have now is democracy, the loose form. <clears throat> democracy is, of course, 35 35 guys hanging one. You know, it's the will of the majority. And so it has nothing to do with the rule of law, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. It has nothing to do with democracy. It has nothing to do with any of that. Democracy comes from a Greek word, most, which is a mob, uh, an unruly mob. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh, knocking over cars and busting windows you know, after all game. That's a democracy. The people are speaking. Condemnus is a mob. Democracy is the rule of, so it's the rule of the mob. Well, that's what we have in America. It's called, it's called a democracy. It's the rule of the majority. So, obviously, no laws are involved. There is no constitution. There's no uh, chisel and stone rights and protections of the individuals. Whatever the mob votes for, that's what we get. And so, uh, well, anybody who, can, who has the money and the know-how and the technology to manipulate the mob, like television and radio and movies and entertainment, alcohol, so anybody who has that kind of power to manipulate the mob can get, uh, you know, let the world become theirs, because mob rule. There is no law. I mean, we 
are the most lawless country on the earth. There is no law. I told you this a long time ago that uh, when I was reading in the Bible about the ban of lawlessness uh, in the book of, uh, of Revelation, it kept talking about the man of lawlessness. And I kept thinking at the time, hell, we've got millions of laws on the book here. I mean, in America, that's all we got is the law. Everywhere you turn is the law. Uh, there is no freedom. But then uh, when I started thinking about the man of lawlessness, that's exactly what we have, because the, the laws and the regulations that govern our society in America today are lawless. It, uh, it doesn't matter what the truth is. It's what masses believe it to be. You know? So, And wherever the masses believe about something, that's the way it is. So it's, it's frightening, this whole idea of democracy, of mob rule. But that's what we have in America today. And that's what the president and the government always talk about, to you know, bring the world democracy. Again, democracy is a mob against one person. So we don't have a republic. We don't have a country of laws and regulations where all men are equal under the law. No, we have a democracy. So that's why, uh, you know, you, when mobs in the street, we call it a demonstration. Uh, so now, if no we take de- de- demonstration, we've got the word demon yeah, right in the front of it. Right. Yeah. D-E-M-O-N, demon. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, if you send an email, and if it doesn't go through, it pops back to your computer showing it didn't go through. Yeah. And, and the name of that uh, that system that pops your emails back to you is called a daemon. So it's called demon, daemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's everywhere. Everywhere we are besieged with occult uh, uh, terms, symbols, and emblems, and words, and the human race has become so befuddled now we have no idea what we're doing. So at least the French know they're French, and the people in Spain know they're Spanish, you know, and the people in England know they're they're British and English. But in America, we don't know what we are. We have you well, know, we're fighting each other, destroying each other, and ripping each other off. We have no idea what we're doing, or who we are. So therefore, like the Bible says, uh, a house divided against itself cannot stand. That's why we're falling apart. We're not Americans. We don't know what we are. We have to wait and see what we are, because we're fighting each other, we're lying to each other. So uh, that's the problem we're facing today. There's no cohesive, uh, there's no cohesiveness to our society. There's no standing up for what is right for America. There's just uh, <clears throat> uh, what we call uh, uh, private uh, concerns and you know, individual companies, corporations, fighting for themselves. Mm-hmm. So we have something called special interests. Nobody has, nobody has any interest in saving the great republic. Uh, it's a special interest. <clears throat> so, house divided against itself in that state, and that's why we're No. Public. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, this place is being uh, f- fragmented more each day. It's imploding. It's disintegrating. It's, it is falling in on itself. You can see it. In your face. And, right yeah, in, in your face. Absolutely. When we sit around and listen and watch as much as we can take, of the so-called political campaign season, the presidential election campaign season. You just, if you have any ability to see what's going on, you kind of just can't believe your eyes. It is contrived, so staged, so manipulative that you wonder how it is that there is no one in the streets. Uh, it's, it's grim and grim. This is not a, remember, never vote for the lesser of evils. It's evil, totally. We are in the hands of people who are not people, they're probably not human in many cases, and they're beyond sociopathic, pathological behavior. They're something else again. They have no concern for human life whatsoever. And if you look back, they didn't in the last century either, or the century before that, or before that. The species has a real flaw, Jordan, a fatal flaw, I'm afraid. Well, yes, that certainly is true. And, there's, and it's pretty much out of hand that, you know, I, I've said this on the program many times. I, I see uh, our country like the animals on the Serengeti plains of Africa. You know, the, the, the huge, enormous herds of animals. But and no matter how many there are of them, they're not able to protect themselves from the lion. I mean, they could be uh, enormous numbers of, of uh, large beasts and animals, but the lions are crawling through the grass, playing their uh, the demise and and so, there's, and those animals do not seem to be able to band together to protect them. 